G'day folks, this video is of a part I have made previously and I have made a video previously however this video is quite different here we can see my turret which no longer gives me any problems now I've gone back to running my machine in DOS when I used to run it in Windows 98 so that I had USB functionality my turret used to play up and now I've stopped using Windows 98 and gone back to DOS and using floppy disks um, the turret just behaves itself it's absolutely great all the time this has been running so reliably in DOS that I'm now quite convinced that every time in the past I had an issue with my turret it was in fact a time when I was trying to run in Windows 98 and although it was good from a file management and USB functionality point of view I think it was all the, all the trouble I had with my turret was caused by Windows 98 and if any young folks out there are wondering why file management would be uh, mentioned um, in DOS file management's a nightmare you have to use a command line for everything my DOS machine runs DOS 6.22 and a program called Xtree Gold. Xtree Gold was the manager for files back in the days of DOS. When I started cutting threads on a CNC machine 20 years ago, I bought a Sandvik tool and a couple of inserts, 26 TPI and 1 millimeter pitch, I think. Um, but I stopped using them because you can only put Sandvik inserts in a Sandvik holder as far as I'm aware or certainly at the time that was how it was um, so I changed over to Sumitomo and very pleased that I did in the couple of microscope shots coming up you can see the difference between profiling before threading here you can see it on the left the burring and the burring when you profile after you've cut the thread. This is how I held this part under the microscope and this device that you can see it being held in is something I'm working on to be able to take videos under my microscope while something is slowly revolving. I've been using this drill chart for years and really it's always been quite good for the work that I've been doing. I've looked on the internet and I've not found anything as straightforward as this. As I say, this is from many years ago. Just thought I'd put it up in case it was of any use to anybody. A friend once told me that if I remembered that a 10mm drill was 0.1 per rev and a 20mm drill was 0.2 per rev, I'd be fairly safe with my feeds. The left side of this diagram has some of the feeds listed, that the way that works out but it's basically drill size over a hundred. On the right side of the diagram are figures from the table that I've put up before. Um, and they basically work out to around about drill size over 75. Hope this is useful for someone.